Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and I'd like to build an, an antenna for the six metre band. Um, now, I've looked at various designs, uh, and uh, I'm kind of uh, taken by the, uh, like the, the FM reception aerial uh, that people have on their houses with the, with the gamma match uh, uh, on it. I'm just wondering whether or not that would be any good for the six metre band um, to transmit and receive on. Um, so I, I'm I'm going to build one, see how it goes. I'm also going to build a, a T2LT for the band as well. To me it's 46 and a half. I don't know what this stuff is really. I think it's some conduit. Um, I don't know what the diameter is. 20 mil, something like that. 18 mil. Um, I've had it in the garage. It could be water pipe actually. I don't really don't know what it is. I've had it in the garage for uh, hmm, 10 years or so. And I've, I was looking around for a bit of um, water pipe or insulation pipe that, that would fit over the top of this. Um, and that just so happens to have the perfect internal diameter for this particular bit of aluminium tube. Um, of course, if you're going to make this yourself at home and you're using copper pipe, um, you could just wrap uh, the bit I'm going to do now in insulation tape or, or perhaps a bit of um, shrink wrap or something. Um, but I found this and I'm going to cut this to length and make it fit. Yep, okay, so what I've done is I've... Uh, chopped a, a length of this pipe and cut a section out of, the, out of it like so.
more alterations I've put um, an SO239 slot connector in I think strap if I need it I've put an additional um, horseshoe part here uh, that will become apparent in a minute and uh, instead of using my bits of rubber I've cut some hoping they're going to work I've cut some um, bits of fiberglass pole with slots in them. Um, we'll see if it'll work. Anyway, let's assemble. Okay, another bit of aluminium rod, um, curtain pile, call it what you will. Um, 63, millim 63 centimeters long, another bit of conduit, which is uh, just the right size, and another U bracket, and another bit of uh, fiberglass with a hole cutter for it, first for sawn. It's there this time. SO239 obviously coming in earth through a bit of earth coax goes to the long element and the center with the direct it goes to the shorter element. Uh, this has been hard work and to be honest with you not the most successful but it does work. I'm sure there's a secret to it. I've got the SWR down to uh, 1.3, 1.5, 1.8, 2. Depending on where you are in the band. Um, that covers 2 megs from 50 megahertz right through to 52 megahertz. 
It's a, a gamma matched diapo um, made out of aluminium. Or you can make it just as easily out of copper, 15 mil plumbing pipe, you know. Um, yeah, it, it does work. Aerial one, 50 megahertz, 50.5 as you can see. Um, and the SWR is 1.3. Take it down to the bottom, bottom one, or the start of the band. By the way, this uh, I've got no reception. It's, it's it's deader than dead on the 50 at the moment. Here you go, look, 1.6, 1.7. And if I wang it up to the midpoint. Point three, one point two, one point three. And if I wang it all the way to the top of the band, I think it goes to about two. Yeah, there you go, just over two. So you know it's usable. Um just see if I can find a beacon or something. I'm probably good at an FM first. Huh? There's one at 666, isn't there? 5666, something like that. Oh, there it is. So it does work. It's a shame there's nothing on. If there is a bit later, I'll record it. But so uh, there you go. I'll um, take you through. The aerial. Okay. For six meters, fifty megahertz through to fifty-two megahertz, and this is what's called a gamma match uh, dipo. Um, the actual. Um, half wave length of um, antennae or uh, elements is uh, continual, continuous. It's not, um, it's not split, so it's not two quarter waves. It's actually a single length of uh, aluminium, uh, which is exactly half a wave. And then you have a eighth wave, gamma, uh, and then you move your um, uh, jumper up and down both of them to find the 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 impedance match point which in this particular case is uh, about two-thirds up the uh, the eighth wave um, so what you've got is 178 centimeters of half wave and then this is 60 69 centimeters the gamma and then three quarters of the way or thir two thirds, two thirds, I suppose it's about two thirds, um, is the matching point or thereabouts. Um, the the gamma part is uh, fed with the the centre core and the uh, the driven element here, um, which isn't I suppose driven. I can't understand this gamma stuff. Perhaps someone would let me know what it's about. So there you are. Anyway. Um Well, this time it's for the six meter band, and that's a T2LT, which is basically a N fed diapo uh, with an air choke on the DX Commander Po. PL259 into an SO239. Air choke. 11 turns around a right guard uh, can in this particular instance and then 1.45 meters of coax then the shield is cut and the center core is then soldered to 1.45 meters of ordinary cable single filament 
okay. Just to test the, uh, the six meter aerial. Somewhere in the middle. Okay, it goes up there. So it could be shortened. Okay. in this band. Am I missing something? Please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> 